Made it. known fact guys that is where pink practices her performances for her concerts in X mounts just found this little gem um, so you look on wiki camps and it's towards the golf course in Exmouth and you're allowed dogs here and you can drive on the beach it's really cool dogs are excited drinks were really good. Beer's always good. We can't complain about a beer. Um, and the music there, I don't know if they play there all the time or if it was once off, but it was Tipsy and Gypsy. They were so, so good. We'll put some clips in now of them. Come on, Sun cream, and anyone that knows me knows I'm a 
good guys. Did you like yours? Loved it. It was good as. It's good. Yeah. We're here at Turquoise Bay to do some snorkeling. We're just like literally half an hour north a bit and the beach was so nice. And we thought, oh, we'll go for a snorkel down here. And yeah, the wind's just picked up. The wind's coming from that direction and just punching around there. So this is like a little cove, I guess you would say. The reef's a little bit further off the shore, but should be good. Giddy up. Yo! <laughs> We're going in, baby. day today. Best day I reckon in a long time. Perfect good weather once that wind disappeared it was good. Um, had a good morning with the dogs, had a good snorkel. No beers today though we had too many at the brewery last night so I'm having a night off you know it's all about balance a healthy lifestyle and then we're having steak for dinner. Ballara meat. Yum. Yum yum yum. Get in my tummy tummy tummy. And I'm just making a salad basic salad but we're tired so that's gonna be it for tonight that's it see you later i'm predicting how rick's gonna walk into the house but i'm gonna have to hide this so he doesn't know that i'm filming he's just been out and cleaned the car and done some shopping i think so he's gonna go i cleaned the car took me ages come come have a look and then he's gonna show me all of the things that he's brought i'll see if i can set that up there Hopefully he won't notice. How am I gonna act like I'm just naturally working here? He's gonna know straight away, he knows me too well. How'd you go? Good. A lot of money at the car wash day, but it was bad. Brought a new kitchen room. Very good. Is it a good one? Yeah. He yeah. said he goes, it's the best year that last year. He goes, you'll break your showers before you do that one. Yep. No, no, that's a good brand, the Dana. Did you clean the car? Yeah, it looks spotless. He called on to me, but let's have a look at what he's got. And what a clean car, I must say. Jesus, you really have been shopping. Good caravan store at um, Xmouth, guys. Got navigator stuff, got king stuff, but. We don't really use Ooh, King stuff. Oh, little will and wind. And um, yeah, got some new stuff. Cars clean. And I um, showed Nikki two seconds ago. Wait there, guys. He's very excited about his new toys. Oh, that's cute. Some new fishing gear because I heard the more fishing gear you get, the more chance you got of getting fish. So. <laughs> Hopefully, <laughs> I can catch them all at dinner because we're running broke. YouTube's going to hold us accountable to that. <laughs> I'm doing, thinking way too much. I'm tired, don't know where the line is. I'll spin it, I'll be leaving from sunrise to sundown. Is this old place is not the same ever since you've been away from home. And I'm trying not to contemplate the feelings that I get when I'm alone. You see the oceans in the head, stars in the red, the sun and the prince are skin, sandy in the toes, you know it. She's never caught in her head.
tricks for you. Heaps and heaps. No, only three. Don't expect much from Exmouth. They um, they really built the town on the wrong side of the peninsula kind of thing. Like Exmouth main town, there's not much. Like a bit overrated, but we still enjoyed it. Don't get us wrong. Like there's still a lot to offer. No yeah, doubt. it sounds really horrible, but you know you hear about Exmouth all the time and. It's, it was obviously on the top of the list for us coming over to WA for the first time. You, you have to go to Exmouth. And we drove through the main town on the first day of getting there and we just looked at each other like, what's all the hype about? Mm, we're expecting it to be like a bit like Port Douglas, like a real beachy town, but don't get us wrong, like 15 minute drive and you go around the other side of the peninsula and it's, oh, it's Mickey Mouse. It's yeah. perfect. Like we had so many good days there. Yeah. We started out disappointed and we ended up absolutely loving it. Yeah. Like you'll see in the videos, we saw so much wildlife. The beaches on the west side on, along the Ningaloo Reef are insane. Really beautiful, but just don't have expectations. Go into something not expecting anything and then you're just guaranteed a good time. Um, Tip what two. The, what was the next one? <laughs> oh, um, book ahead. Book ahead. Book ahead. So, guys, we stuffed up. Yeah, we wanted to do the whale sharks, and we got told by numerous people in the area, oh, you'll be right two weeks out. So, we had to book it, and we only got one spot. So, Nikki's wanted to do it her whole life, and she was really keen. So, she did the whale sharks, and I just sat on the boat and watched her have all the fun. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was all right. It wasn't too bad. It was, we went on the catamaran for Ningaloo Discovery, and, um, it was a good time, good crew. Yeah, but you just still go snorkeling for me if it was good. Yeah, just make sure if it's something that you do not want to miss out on, just book it. As soon as you know the date you're going to be there, or even just book it anyway, and then you'll figure out the where you're staying. Because we like th that's probably been our first regret of yeah. three three months on the road. First regret. But Tip number three: make friends. You have no idea who you're talking to when you're bumping into someone at the cafe when you're talking to your neighbors at the campsite we met this lovely couple and they were actually camping at the ridge which is like an hour from Exmouth and they lived in Exmouth so we were just talking to them asking for some tips I asked them who I should get to look after the dogs because I was worried about finding a dog sitter going to the whale sharks Ricky being Ricky I said, do you want to look after him? And she goes, sure, because her daughter's got two golden retrievers as well. So, yeah, she didn't want any money or nothing for it, but we ended up paying her because we felt bad. Um, but they the, were lovely. Like, they were so the nice. House. So, That's so good. nice people. Um, the dogs loved them. The dogs had the best time. They got to run around in a backyard. They were, like, cuddled up on the couch watching TV. I don't think the dogs actually wanted to come home. No. <laughs> Alright guys, we've got a coffee in hand and we're on the road to the next destination. We're going to heading to Tom Price. So I think that would be a pretty awesome place. So looking forward to it. Mm. Don't forget to like and subscribe and stay tuned for next week's episode. Catch you later, yo!